मैथ्स स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सेकेंड चैप्टर प्रॉब्लम सेट टू नाउ द सेकेंड चैप्टर मीन्स नंबर वर्क इन दिस इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी आर गिवन एज देवनगरी नंबर्स इंटरनेशनल नंबर्स एंड वी हैव टू राइट द नंबर्स इट इन वर्ड्स नाउ वॉट डज देवनगरी नंबर्स मीन्स द नंबर्स विच वी राइट इन हिंदी दोज नंबर्स आर नोन एज देवनगरी नंबर्स The international numbers are the English numbers that we write, and numbers written in words means the numbers we have to write it in words. Suppose this is two thousand three hundred and fifty-nine, we have to write it in words. Okay, so this is thirty-two thousand. Suppose the number has been given as. Suppose thirty-two thousand. Seven hundred fifty-six. We have to fill it over here. Thirty-two thousand seven hundred fifty-six. Got it? In the same way. International number is given. We have to write the Devanagari script and then write it in words. Next question is some taluka wise names have been given and the numbers are also been given over there. We have to write these numbers in the written form. Like. Suppose over here it is twelve thousand seven hundred and forty. For that, how are you going to write it in your book? Suppose Koparga, the number is twelve thousand seven hundred and forty. Now, how are you going to read this number? Unit, tens, hundred, thousand. Ten thousand. Got it? So write it in words. Twelve thousand seven hundred and forty. Got it? Next. Next question is how many rupees do they make? Now there are some notes and rupees. Notes and rupees given to us. We have to calculate and place the total amount over here. For example, they have given twenty notes of thousand rupees, five notes of hundred, and fourteen notes of ten rupee notes. Okay, so how are you going to solve it? Twenty. Notes of thousand rupees. Here we have to multiply the numbers. Now, how are you going to multiply? I'll show you a simplest form. Multiply two with one, that is two, and the remaining zeros. Place them as they are. How many rupees? Twenty thousand rupees. Right. Second, five notes of hundred rupees. So that will be five into one, five and two zeros, five hundred rupees. In the same way, fourteen notes of ten rupees. So that will be fourteen. One forty rupees in this way. Got it? We have to write these numbers in words. Suppose twenty thousand. In the same way, five hundred rupees. One forty rupees. Next question is: Write the biggest and the smallest five-digit number using. these numbers now 
small digit numbers means four, five, zero, three, and seven. Smallest five digit number. Okay, for that unit, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Now, which is the biggest, smallest number? Sorry, we are doing smallest number, smallest five digit number. So, which is the smallest one? Obviously, you will say zero. But if we place zero over here, then it will be only four digit number, not five digit number. So, zero, we have to take it in the second place. After zero, the smallest number is three. After three, four. 5 and then 7. Hope you understood this concept. Now we will write the biggest 5 digit number. Now in the same way. Unit, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Now which is the biggest number? 7. After that, 5. After that, 4. 3 and 0. Now a small thing I would like to tell you, if we have to write the biggest number, then the zero should be always added at the last. It will increase the value of that number. Whereas zero should be added in the second place in the smallest five digit number.